going to talk a little bit about our experience with the Creality CR10 S5. We have had a lot of success with the standard Creality CR10 model, which is um, the print bed is about this big. And when we saw that they had one that was 22 by 22 by 22 build area uh, inches, we had to try it. So here it is. And I have to say, um, because of the really large print area, this model has a few extra challenges out of the box. For the standard CR10 models, we were able to get parts printing almost right out of the box, which is incredible. But with this one, we've had to make some adjustments and um, we're still fighting it a little bit. I'm going to talk about some of those challenges. So the first thing that needs to happen is this bed needs to be leveled. And there are some adjustment screws that you can turn to raise and lower each corner, just like the normal CR10s. And so you would think it would be a very straightforward process, but in this case, I had to, because the frame is so large, after I got everything all set, I thought there was one corner left that absolutely, no matter how tightly I put the screw in, the, uh, the head just kept pressing on it. And I realized that the frame was actually a little bit warped, so I had to set it up on a couple different shims to raise one corner up a little bit to sort of bow it back in the right direction. And that's just a result of, I mean, look how big the base is here. There's, there's a lot of flex that can happen where you wouldn't have that on the, the standard model. We have had incredible success with these build plates from Creality. I'm not sure what they're called off the top of my head, but it's, um, it's glass on one side, and this other side is finished with some material that as it heats up, the plastic just sticks really well, and then when it cools off, it just, the part almost lifts right off. It's amazing. So we immediately got one of these, and unfortunately, when I put it on the bed, I discovered after I leveled the corners, um, and actually I had trouble leveling the corners with this, uh, that the middle is actually bowed upwards about a sixteenth of an inch, which um, may not sound like a lot, but when you have the tolerance of the thickness of a piece of paper between the head and the bed, and then you start dragging the head across for a print, it will just score right across. And the more scratch the surface gets, the less effective it is. So that was really unfortunate that this came uh, so warped. So I'm, I'm really hoping that Creality will replace this for us. We have had a lot of trouble just with glass print beds in general. You can get it, but you usually have to put down some kind of glue and then it starts messing with the smooth, glossy finish. I will say if you can get glass to work, it has an amazing, I mean, there's nothing like a glass finish on a part. It's super glossy and shiny. It looks incredible, but we just always have so many problems with the parts sticking to the glass. And um, that's actually one of the main reasons why I aborted this part. I was trying to make a picture frame and it just, um, it lost extrusion once. And so I paused the print and the head came over and just ripped the entire thing off. And uh, that was kind of, that's, that's one of the things you fight with glass. Um, which brings up the next issue. I usually with these, I think they're called like shark bite adapters and uh, this little hose that the filament goes through just sort of pushes as hard as you can in there and then it locks. But I've lost extrusion three times now on just this short print with um, this, it just keeps coming out. So there's gonna have to be some kind of a modification there to um, get the extrusion to work. Uh, that, that definitely surprised me a little bit, but we should be able to fix that no problem. Now, the fan on the head, actually, when we opened the box, was shattered. Like, and this, this part is aluminum, um, so that was protected. But this fan on the side here is just, um, it was broken into several pieces. And luckily, the blades of the fan were not, so 
we were able to super glue it back together um, and I, it seems to work for the most part. So overall, I'm still really excited about this. Creality is a really great company and I expect this printer to work well, but as we discussed, just the sheer size of it causes some new issues to come up. Um, and once those get resolved though, I'm, I'm really excited to see how, how useful this machine will be.